Hey, what's up guys? It's the Accelerator here, and today we're going to be taking a look at one of my RCs that I've been working on for about the past two weekends. So, um, you guys haven't seen this on the channel yet. Well, maybe I did a video. I think I did a video when I first got it, but um, it's all modified now. So this is my, I'm not sure what scale it is, um, but it's a fairly big car. That's my hand comparison. Um... So it's a Dodge Viper replica, and uh, so the rear end is totally the same. Tires are totally the same. I um, the front springs were really stiff, so I got some softer springs that actually work really good. And same thing with the back, out of another old RC car that I had. Um, so I'm running it on a 9.6 volt, 1600 milliamp battery pack which I'm very happy with. It's like the perfect amount of power. And I'm also running the same receiver that I do in the crawler, which is the Fly Sky three channel, I don't know, thing <laughs> with uh, adjustable everything, which really helps. So I hot glued this piece of plastic on here, really tight, and then I epoxied on my steering servo there to go straight into there so that it will turn the tires like that. Um, you know, here's my ESC here. I know there's wires everywhere. Ignore that. Um, here's my wires going to my motor and my ESC. Those are, have hot glue because I pinched them in there, but the wires kept falling out. So I just hot glued a little bit to hold those in. And, uh, yeah, everything seems to work really well. I really like this body. I had, there's plastic coverings here, but I just took those off so that I can see what's happening because I did have some problems with my steering servo but it's all worked out now. So um, let's take this thing for a drive and see how it does. So another thing I wanted to show you is I totally completely like gutted out the battery pack or the, the battery compartment and that's because this battery with the wires wouldn't fit so I had to completely cut it out and then hot glue really strong the, um, this piece on here, this piece of plastic on here, so that now I can fit this battery in really snug and have a place for my wires to go. Okay guys, so because this is based off a toy spec um, chassis, it's not going to handle amazingly well, but it does have some power. And when you're careful with it, you can get it to drift. It is somewhat difficult though. Uh, it the thing is so powerful, like that's just half though. If you, I mean, it's a lot faster than when I got it. Oh, But it doesn't have a lot of top end, like, here's, that's top speed, it's not very fast. But it accelerates really good, and it handles pretty good. So you can also do donuts with the car, I'll show you that. Oh wait, I don't want to hit that one, hold on. Okay, here we go. So it does it super easily. It's just so easy for this thing to spin around. Oh, and also if you see a little red light flashing, I'm not sure if you can see that on video, but it's because my receiver's like right here and you can kind of see it through the vent. That's why you might see a little light flashing. Down there. It's just so fun to drive. I don't know why. It's just like when I first got this car, I kind of got it so that I could eventually do some tuning on it, and now it's finally, I'm finally able to do that. And it's just so good. <laughs> the lights no longer work. It did have like tail lights when you'd go in reverse and headlights when you'd go forward, but 
the new ESC and receiver don't allow for that, and I didn't want to spend extra, like, hundred dollars to get that stuff so um yeah that's all out of my head but it does save some weight i guess not a lot because it is a heavy car it's about it's, it's nearly as heavy as the wrestler it's actually surprising oh oh oh, oh that's wood But, you know, it is possible to drive it like a real, like, RC race car would, I guess. Ah, oh, dang it. And I'll, like, spin out everywhere. It is possible. You just gotta use caution. Because you can only get on, if, when you floor this thing, if you're turning it all, it spins around. That's just kind of how it, how this thing drives. So, you have been even for it. You know, you kind of have to watch when you apply the throttle, which I'm still getting used to. So I was driving this thing a little bit earlier, and I noticed the battery life is about mm, 45 minutes, which is actually really good. So, uh, yeah. Oh, that's been out. Okay. Ah, another one. Not another one. Okay, here we go. You know what's great about this thing? It destroys tires. Here, let me show you. So, here's the back tire. I'm not sure if you can see, but on the inside, it's really thin. Now, for example, or for comparison, here is the front tire. Front tire, back tire. You can, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but it does definitely wear the tires down. Um, so, that's not the greatest thing ever. But that's mostly due to the tires not being amazing tires. But so right now it's kind of a mix between like a race type of setup and a drift type of setup. It, it actually feels really similar to the Mustang, but less controllable. It's a lot harder to control, surprisingly. I thought it'd be easier with the longer wheelbase, but it's not. The Mustang was quite a bit easier to control, but I, I think I like this one more. <laughs> oh, it's so funny to moss tires. That's that's what happens when you do full throttle and just can put, can put, continue, completely, can, never mind, actually. Continuously turn it one, one or two directions, it'll like, you know, demolish the tires. One thing that's also cool about this receiver is that it will simulate ABS. So if I'm going forward and hit reverse, it'll actually kind of like not let my rear wheel lock up. So I'm not sure if you can really see that, but um, hold on. Now I'm going to go on my remote real quick and turn ABS off. And you might be able to hear or see a difference. See, it, I didn't touch the steering wheel, it totally spun around, so that shows that it like skidded. So I thought that was really cool, because it actually kind of helped me stay straight when I stopped, so yeah, that's really cool. Just gently go around the corner. You gotta be so touchy with the throttle. Once you kind of start to slide, it's like if you touch the throttle at all, once you start sliding, you're not gonna recover at all. So it's definitely a difficult thing to master. I don't really know what else to show you guys with this car. So, uh, I guess that's about it for this video. I might do a burnout, show you guys that. Um, so thank you for watching, have a great day. Please remember to like and subscribe.